When I was first learning about truth tables, I had no idea what to do. When I first saw a problem with a bunch of P's and Q's, I was scared. And it took me a long time to figure this out, but I was able to figure it out in a way that I actually enjoy it. So I want to make this video to show you how to approach how to solve truth tables. So here we go. But before we do any problems, I want to talk about a few things that, will, that are, are going to make truth tables so, 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 so easy and simple. The first one, master each proposition. This thing right here is key. Understanding what these symbols mean are so important. How can you master these things? You go you go and understand the truth table of each one. So for example, we have for the end um, for the end one. So we can see that the the truth table for the proposition P and Q is defined by the truth table. And you can see that P and Q right here is true only when P and Q are both true. Otherwise it's false. So understanding this, it's key when, you, when it comes to solving the problems. Next one. When we solve the inclusive, the, the inclusive or oh, and P and Q, so right here, the or one, you can see here, the or one is right here. And you can see that it's always true, but unless P and Q are both false. Got it? It's always true unless both P and Q are false. And the next one here real quick is the, the negation, which is this symbol right here. And as you can see that it's sort of like the opposite of each one. You can think of it as the, as the inverse. That's how I think about it. Perfect. So once you master that, then you can move forward. The next one, number two here, Break it up into pieces. When you have these huge problems, you have to really break it up into pieces. Otherwise, it becomes really confusing. And number three, practice. Yeah, no shit. Uh, <laughs> so next one. So let's make, let's do two problems. So the first one problem here is a fun one. So what you do here Hopefully you can understand the symbols. I'm not super great at it, but let's let's try it. Let's try this out. Then R and then R. This one. So here's a problem, and I encourage you to pause the video and, and do it with me. So, so the first thing you need to do is make the table. So what you do is the is that you write make the table make it very nice with space because you don't want to really get confused one two three four five six two more so something that is going to make your life so much easier is that you need to figure out a way to for the pattern so what you need to do is that what helps me is that you write for true and false, false, and for false. And then here you do two truths, two false, true, true, false, false. And for the R, the last one, what you do is that you alternate true, false, true, false, true, false, true. False. Perfect. Let me fix this real quick. Perfect. So that's we have P and Q and R, which is the three, the three um, things that we have, the three letters that we have in here. And then, so how do we go from here? So first, like we said, we break it up into pieces. So the first one here that we have is P. Q, make a table for that.
And then the next one here is, so we go out a little bit. So we do the negation. P and Q. Do the same thing. Same, same thing. P and Q. And then we do the, the, the last one, which is R and negation P. And then the last one we'd write is the, the last thing we write is a for the problem. Duplicate, so we make this easier real quick. P and Q, perfect. So now with Sanoki, we can start. So the first one here is P and Q. So as we know already from the truth tables, we can see that the N is all, it's always false unless both are, all of them are true. So P and Q are true. So, so what we do is that we do true and true because these two were true. Otherwise it's always going to be false. So we do that for all of them, false, 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 false. The next one we do is that we have here in the problem is that we have a negation, a negation here. So we literally do the opposite. So false, false, true, 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 true. And then the last thing that we have here is that we have R N opposite of P, which is the negation of P. So, so what I'd like to do to simplify my life is that I go here and I write on a little small. So the opposite of P, the negation of P, and I just write down the same one, it's a little smaller, just to not confuse what I'm doing. So you do FF and then T, T, true, T, 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 perfect. And what you do here next is that, so you, you have that and then you do, you have R and P. So as we know for the, for the N table is that they both need to be true, otherwise it's gonna be false. So we go from there. So the first one, F, right here, F and T, F, P and, P and R, so F and T is gonna be false, oops, false, 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 and false. But here we see that both of them are true, true. So we write true, and then we write false. Again, both of them are true, we write true. And then again, both of them are false. So perfect, so now we're almost done with the problem. So now what we do here is that we compare this one right here with this one. And this one's actually really interesting because it's an, the, what we need to compare now is the or symbol. So we go here, to check the truth table, and we can see that the for the or, for the or one, it's always true unless both of them are false. So what do we do now? We can, we can put it right here so you can take a look at it while you memorize it. So always true unless both of them are false. So what we do here is that we check, we check these two tables right here, and then you go from there. So always false unless, always true unless both of them are false. So we go here, oh, so these two are false, oh, these two are false, and then it's always going to be true because, because in order for them to be false, both of them, both of the columns need to be false. So true, True and true is gonna be true and false and so on, it's gonna be true. I wanted to make two 
problems, but I think this one, which is a more complicated one, will show you the, the whole picture. And I don't want to make this video too long. So, perfect. Ho I hope it makes sense. And of course, let me know if you would like me to explain more of my of my of the technique I develop, or if you like me to solve more problems. All right, I wish you the best, and like I told you, it was pretty fun. So, thank you.